In this video, you're going to see how to provide clients and team members access to your web studio project without providing the full power of the builder. So they can go off, make changes without breaking anything, without stepping out of the design system and adding some random color in there. And they can do all of this without contacting you. It's made possible by content mode. We're going to break content mode into three stages. The first is creating that share link so you can send it to your clients or team members. Then we're going to step into that mode and see what the clients see. And really, that's the ability to edit existing content. And then finally, I'm going to show you how you can provide your clients and team members the ability to add new content, but not just any new content, specifically templates you create and specify exactly where they can insert them on the page. I'm really excited for that one. So let's first start diving in by creating that share link. OK, this is the website we've built. I'm ready to send it to the client. I'm going to go up to share and create a new share link. In here, we're going to see a new option, and that's going to be content mode. I'm going to check this and optionally specify if I want my clients to be able to publish the site or not. I'm going to say, let's go ahead and publish this. Great. And that is it for creating share links. So let's check that off. And now let's see what the clients are going to see when they open that link. Now, instead of opening the link, I can actually dive right into content mode by going to this arrow and choosing content mode. So the default designer developer mode is called design. And but we're going to jump into content mode now. We're going to see a very streamlined web studio builder. There's no style panel. There's no ad components, but we can edit existing content. So if I'm a client in here, I can go in and start changing things just by clicking in here. And with one click, I can enter and change the numbers. I can go in here and change whatever I want. I can even update images by clicking on an image and uploading a new image and changing it out right here. But let's say I'm switching pages and I go to my about page and I see that we have some team members and I want to modify them as the client. Well, I can't add or delete any team members. So we're going to step into the third stage of content mode, and that is the ability to add new content. We're going to go back into design mode as the designer developer. This is where you have the control to say, I'm going to specify where they can add new content and specifically what types of content can they add. So we're going to go to our team grid. I'm going to expand this and add a new component. This new component is called content block. Content block allows us to specify two things. One, where on the site are they able to add or delete content? And two, what content can they add to it? Let's expand content block and we're going to see there is a default paragraph and list in here. These are just instructions on how to use it, but I'm going to go over that and I'm going to expand templates and just get rid of those too. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is drag my existing team members in content block. Content block is now going to let our editors, clients, or you know, team members the ability to remove these team members because they have the ability to remove anything that's in content block. But I want to give them the ability to add new team members. We're going to do this by providing templates. This is as easy as I'm going to copy an existing team member and paste it into templates. Now, and you can see when I click into templates, it'll show me all of my templates. I only have one team member as a template right now, but now my editors can insert whatever's in templates. Let's switch over to content mode and see what this looks like. All right, in content mode, we can see we have our three existing team members. But now if you notice, we have a plus button right here. So this is specifically because we're in the content block and I can click this and add our templates. We only have one template right now, and that makes sense for this section. So I'm going to add that and we're going to see a new one get added here. Now I could always change out the image, upload a new one and select it, you know, from here. And we can see our navigator is reflecting the content block and just the content block. We're only focusing on what the clients or team members have the ability to change. So they can go in here and remove things as well by either clicking on it and clicking delete. They can also, you know, click on it in the canvas or even hold option or slash alt and click the delete button here. Now they can't delete any templates. So even if I were to delete all of the instances of the templates, the actual templates will always still exist for the clients. Now, as you can see, we don't have access to the style panel. So just be sure when you're providing these templates, you're providing the entire design. You can provide small building blocks such as these team members or the entire section so they can build out the website section by section. Now, that's going to be it for adding new content. I want to leave you with one more resource in the description below is a video you can send your clients that is 
a tutorial on how to use Web Studio from the client perspective. So it's basically covering exactly what we built, but how to edit it, how to update it as the client. Now with content mode, you can send a share link to team members or clients. They could edit any existing content and they can even add new content to designer specified regions called content block. Clients and team members have autonomy without the risk of breaking the site. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.